A Honda Trail 90 is on my short list of motorcycles I need to own. And we just keep going here. Back in 2007, Andy started working at a small auto shop and had the opportunity to do service for a rally team. If you don't know what rally racing is, you're missing out. We need to get something so that I can hold this and not have the whole camera bouncing all over the place while I'm filming. Especially if we're going to do things like follow Dennis. Dennis has an uncle named Guy. If they can propel their motorcycle as high and as far as Guy Cooper. And look at this, bad. look at this, there it is, right oh. there. Oh. He must love this. Dennis? Yeah. yeah. Dennis's grandpa opened a cycle shop long, long, long time ago and never threw anything away. Dennis said his grandpa was a hoarder. <laughs> Dennis was not kidding, but the best kind of hoarder. Dennis's grandpa hoarded some really cool stuff. I have never seen this many motorcycles in my life and bicycles in my life in one spot. A lot of people can't see past the patina. Yeah, I love the patina, yeah. Wow, oh, that's a weird tan. No, <laughs> side by side. Honda Trail 90 is on my short list of motorcycles I need to own. And we just keep going here. Someday, we could bike to have on a bus. Every bike on the back wall is at least 100 years old. This bike is all wood. Even the rims and the hubs are wood. So it's a chain on a spring and when you kick it pulls the spring or pulls yeah, the chain and then the spring the returns it. it and this rewinds it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I had no idea that existed. And you'll have to show that to Allison, she'll be jealous.
So if there's anything that I've learned while I've been in Oklahoma, is that wind is a bitch. I'm painting today. Lovely little black paint. Weak little boards. See, look at that. Oh, the wind is gonna blow it away. And I already did to this one. Right after I painted it, I turned around and it blew it right off. Now it's covered in grass. Gotta paint the other side. I guess that's the back now. Turn the gas on. I do that a lot. Sometimes I wonder when I'm trying to get a sixteenth of an inch if I'm just wasting my time. If it really doesn't matter that much. Yeah. Every, any house I've ever had to work on has been shipped off by inches, something seems like. Ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it just barely will work, but it'll... Can you hold this again for me, please? Yeah. I that like 20, like 10 seconds ago when I was over here. <laughs> Why are the steps, are you too old to step extra? I don't know where my bait. Ow, ah, fuck that's hot. Want me to grab it? No. Okay. Oh, I don't know where my big hot glue gun is. I burn myself with it way too often. You didn't need to burn yourself with it though to... I guess I got it turned up to high. There. Now I should be able to take that down and bring it outside and use it as a template. That's the part that got wet. When we don't want to use a factory edge. I think that one, that looks like the edge that got wet too. Yeah. During them underneath the bus didn't work as well as I hoped. I want to use the main four foot section at the top, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, this is probably too thin. I was wondering if I should clamp them together and use the router. You know, and follow it. Mm -hmm. But quarter inches, I would have I would have made it out of a thicker. Yeah, I'll just trace it. The ceiling panel is going to cover it, so anything I do mess up wise. protector yet? <laughs> no, I have not bought you the pocket protector yet. It's next on my list of gifts. Is that centered in the screw? Looks like it from here. Yeah. 
me to put my foot on that for you? No. Oh. Terrible arrow. We got away my arrow. I think those are 42 inches apart. So what's 42 divided by half? 21. 21. And half of that is 7. Half of 21 no, is right. not 7. Ten it's and 10 and a half. And a half. 10 and a half. What's that? 32 and a half? 21 plus 10 and a half? Yes. 21 plus 10 and a half is 31 and a half. Yeah. That was, I said 32 and a half. You are right. Mm. Got the second piece in. So now there's a wall between the bathroom and his room. I still have to put a little piece in down underneath there. This piece gets bigger. There was no way one piece was going to be able to be put in there. This is not focusing on me. I'm here. Here, here's me. So because I'm not real fun to watch, I'm not doing fancy stuff like Andy is, I am cutting up pieces of this fun stuff to go underneath the countertops. Once I realized that my up and down um, supports didn't always line up with my front to back supports, uh, my 
it went just fine and it was really pretty easy I just used the chop saw to cut everything Andy ripped these pieces for me out on the table saw um, a couple of days ago and I painted them which pardon all the sawdust oh and the dishwasher door I don't know if you could see here let's see these these guys here will this is what it is so you can see the the steel here um, these just go underneath so it's black it just, um, ooh, no focus again. It'll cover everything, so it'll cover, it'll cover the toe kick so I don't lose food and dust bunnies underneath there and so that the heat from the uh, diesel heater duct doesn't just shoot right underneath the cupboards. I'm just about out of daylight and I have my outside cutting done, which is nice. Now I have everything cut and fit and I just need to attach it. Um, so while I know this is fully within my wheelhouse of abilities, it still feels strange to start screwing things into the frame um, without Andy here double checking it and saying, yeah, that's right, you're totally fine, no worries. <laughs> You'd think that at the age of 40, I'd be confident in my ability to put a screw through a piece of wood, but it's the cabinet frame and it's the bus. And to be completely honest with you, I just don't want to fuck anything up. And I'm, ah. <laughs> uh... I need a room like this someday. Every piece of hardware I could ever want right at my fingertips.